Hey everybody, call me Felix, and we're still in the midst of our Pogwood Pud road trip. Last time, we visited the new Instagram hotspot in the northwest Philippine province of Ilocos Norte, the Bridge of Wonder in Pogwood Pud. Although Warren and I were not gawking in wonder on this bamboo platform, we enjoyed the harmonious view of the clear kelp-laden sea with the lush mountains as backdrop and the unique Bantai Abot Cave. If you want to see all our adventures in the crown jewel tourist destination of the northern Philippines in Pagod Pud, go ahead and check out the Pagod Pud Road Trip 2021 playlist on the far right hand corner. From the Bridge of Wonder, we headed for our resort on the northern tip of Saud Beach, the Boracay of the North. Unlike White Beach in Boracay, Saud Beach in Pagod Pud features relatively basic and rustic accommodation, but where we stayed for four days and three nights, the Via Andrea Resort features the kinds of amenities you expect from a destination hotel, such as beach access, snorkeling and kayaking equipment, swimming pool, full service restaurant, and videoke. This video is more or less a review of Via Andrea, although it's focused more on reviewing our meals. The long and short of it is, Via Andrea is a great place for hanging out with families and big groups, and while the rooms still feel relatively basic, there are deluxe rooms for extra comfort. Without further ado, here is how our stay at Via Andrea went. All right, everybody, we have arrived at our resort. It's Via Andrea Beach Resort in Pogod Pud. And our room is all the way over there. Right by the pool. Very convenient. You know, you can take a leak right from the window over there in a big old rainbow arc. Well, hello there. Hello. Right on the doorstep of the I have beach. I tell you, it is very peaceful and quiet. Yes. It's very peaceful and quiet. It is. Look, you can hear the wind. And Warren breathing hard. And look all the way over there. You know, Saud Beach is one of the more beautiful beaches in the world. It's Travel and Leisure Magazine for 2021. And you know why? It's because there are earth movers all the way over there that are manicuring the sand. That is the secret to Saud <laughs> Beach success. That's the real reason why it is the number one beach. Yeah, it is. Right? Yeah, if it wasn't for human hands and earth caterpillar earth moving equipment. That's how it's, the sand is manicured, through those caterpillar earth movers. And now you know everybody, the Philippines' success as to how they get the best beaches in the world. Was there something particular about this hotel that you, you chose? Is there a... Because it has video, okay? Oh! So, okay. here's the thing. So it is Warren's birthday Happy week. Happy birthday, Warren! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? You know, the, but there, unfortunately, this is not the real reason why we're here. Okay. What's the real reason? So the real reason is because Mary says that she can sing the zom zombie by the cranberries. Oh, I can do that too. In your head, in your head. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. This is a sample. Come on, Dolores! Big part! Big part! Big part! Oh! Oh! No! Oh! 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 That part! That part! Eh! I mean, it's, it's very appropriate that you're smoking while you say that because you need that kind of voice to, you know, like a chain smoker's voice to do it. Good, but you couldn't do that. Oh, 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 parts. It's nothing without those parts. Mm. <laughs> Homer. Or more like um, Aunt Thelma. <laughs> oh, Patty and Selma. Patty yeah, and Selma. you gotta have to sound like Patty and Selma when you go to the middle of the song. I know. <laughs> okay, everybody. Let's all let's all look at the sea instead. <laughs> Look at how tranquil the water is. You can go snorkeling all over there, Warren. Or Ben can too. Even if he doesn't swim, he can go all the way out there even to the rocks. All right, everybody, we're trying out the food here at Via Andrea, our resort, for dinner. So then, now you have to be prepared for slow cooking time. So they gave us some calamares, though, for Pulutan while we're drinking our red horse. Hmm. I don't think we ordered this, but okay. There's some vinegar with some seedling lobuyo and some black peppercorn. Let's try that out. I'm getting more of a crunchy batter though. I got crunchy oatmeal batter. 
I feel like the batter goes a little too dense. It's like oatmeal or... Um, it almost has the consistency of panko breadcrumbs, but the problem is it's a little dense. Yeah, it's more about the batter. It's kind of like a faint squid cracker kind of taste. Okay, so quick review on the Andrea's dinner food. All right. So after us, some of us slipped off the deep end doing video, okay, and having a little bit of booze, here we are. Let's see how this Sinigang Baboy goes because it's especially thick and fat. And some of that soup too. Definitely has a bit of a sour punch, which I tend to like mine with a sour punch. And of course with garlic rice, it almost adds a little bit of creaminess too. Garlic type of creaminess. Got yeah, some fried chicken. It kind of reminds me of 7-Eleven fried chicken to be honest with you. But 7-Eleven is gloves greasier. This is not nearly as much. Are you all enjoying yourself, birthday boy? Yeah. Or so birth yeah. week boy, because it's not your birthday today. <laughs> well, guys, I'm living vicariously through Warren because part of me would love to go back to 20 again and then not make the same mistakes I made from there on in. Is it a bit too sour? A little bit. Okay, on that note, I think that's the perfect end to w end the video. Well isn't, that, well, isn't that the best way of opening up a blog, isn't it? I mean, a massive one of those beetles. Now, beetles like that in the Philippines are pretty common, but ugh, when they get to that size, I don't know, like the size of like um, a small puppy? Ah, uh, yeah, I, um, okay. Anyway, this is day two of our stay for Warren's birth week in Pagod Pud. Yay. And you can see there, it's 7 in the morning, bright and early. Actually, we were out here bright and earlier. Just as the sun was rising. I didn't take anything. So I'm going to go get some breakfast. I'll show you what type of stuff they have here. It's a lot of sea logging. Alright, so after seeing that beetle, we ordered breakfast. And they have complimentary breakfast, but it's limited to... Hot dog silog and um, corned beef silog. I'm not in the mood for either. Um, they have tuyo silog if you are very, very nostalgic for this, this fried fish. Um, no, not for me. Uh, but yeah. Um, the nice thing here is we have Saud Beach pretty, practically all to ourselves. All the way over here. So we're at the northern part where it starts to get rocky over there. And then our resort is over here, right at the doorstep. Yep. Now I'll say though here that the sand is a uh, bit deep. You know, you can kind of get your ankles kind of stuck in there. Um, not quite quicksand, but eh. Um, and here there's a lot of algae. Er, why do I keep saying algae? Um, there's a lot of seaweed right at the doorstep of the water line yeah and there you go you see that mound over there yep you remember yesterday we had um, seen a bunch of caterpillar earth mover equipment well that's what they're doing um I'm curious to see what's over there I think if you look at the Google Maps you will see that there is a reservoir like a freshwater reservoir or a river or a lake or whatever that empties into the ocean maybe mm -hmm. Well, anyway, part of me is curious. Hmm. And of course, it's a magnificent view of Saud Beach. Or also the Windmill Beach across. I need to get the bigger lens for another day. Uh, yeah. Well, we're going to have breakfast by the beachfront. Yes. It, it doesn't get better than that, does it? And I'm going to order some things that were more enticing to me. Another Silog meal and... You know, waffles. Ugh. Okay, breakfast has arrived and JP was in the mood, and Ben was in the mood, to get clubhouse sandwiches. They look pretty good. They look it's a lot delicious. Of, looks like a lot of bread though. But yeah, yeah lots it looks of, fine. Lots of carbs. Lots of fries, yeah. <laughs> some ketchup, man. I got me a waffle. Now they don't have whipped cream here, so you know what they gave? Sunday syrup and maple syrup. I'll do that later. But, and banana ketchup. 
and banana ketchup. <laughs> yeah, and banana ketchup. Okay, <coughs> but I got me a top sea log because I'm special. So the egg is unfortunately a little more cooked than I like it, but that's fine. But it looks beautiful. Okay, there's more of a dry taste to the top. Uh, hmm. So kind of like a beef jerky sort of thing. It's a beef jerky type of tapa. There's some nice fatty bits here too. Oh, about sandwich in the morning. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. Toast. Toast. Toast to on toast. Toast. <laughs> toast to toast. I wish I knew there was a toothpick there. These two have space. Now, yes, there's some ham here. It's thankfully is not gloopy like bar ass ham. You know and at least it's not ham? sweet. Yeah. They love sweet. Yeah, this is an American style clubhouse. Not bad. And there's tomato, there's a bit of lettuce. Got the right type of creaminess from the mayonnaise, and it's not sweet. That's good too. A lot of white bread. <laughs> but that's okay. It's not bad. What do you think? <laughs> wow, Warren, you definitely look like you belong here. <laughs> Ray band sunglasses, uh, that hair. I, I was having an off day, then this sandwich makes me turn on. What? You were having an off day yesterday? Turn on. I'm sorry, I didn't understand that. He's just saying. The sandwich is turning him on. The sandwich? Yeah, I did the same thing. There's a toothpick in here. I knew there was one, so I grabbed it out. Mm. I was like, what is this unpleasant thing that's in the middle? Oh yeah, a toothpick. The corned beef is not bad. It's not bad? It's like palm corned beef. It's like, uh, it's not like the star corned beef. It's actually like yep. Americanized. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's good. All right, no complaints on the egg this time for the corn sea log. This is the complimentary one. Oh, yeah. Nice runny egg. Oh, runny eggs. And some of this corned beef, which I'm told is kind of like more in the palm style of corned beef, not the sweeter type or like carne norte. Hmm. Okay. It's an Americanized corned beef. Yeah. I can tell it is because of this. Mm hmm. This little. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Like the little fat bar parts yeah, like that? Like yeah. where they kind of congeal like that? It's so almost like aspect. For being complimentary, that's pretty good. So mm -hmm. don't order the hot dog. Order the complimentary corned beef at mm -hmm. Via, Via Andrea? Yeah. Via Andrea. That's Israel. where we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. that's surprising. Yeah. That's actually good. Yeah, it's quite good. And then it's not too like, you know how like the, the, some people, they get a little results and make a little crust out of the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Corned beef? Mm -hmm. There's none of that here. So if you don't like that, this is a good one. Got and not sweet. And you got onions cutting through. Yeah. And again, more Americanized. It's not sweet. Mm -hmm. And the garlic rice here is pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll get to my waffle after this. Yeah, this is a Belgian-style waffle. But unfortunately, no whipped cream. And they don't have any berries or whatever. Or berries and cream or whatever. I don't have to tell you what a waffle looks you like, but I just show you that they do have waffles, so I don't need to test this for you. <laughs> Alright everyone, I didn't know if I did a tour of the Via Andrea Hotel Room Resort, so um, I think I did the first morning we're here, but this is the last morning, so you stay here three nights, and I'm just... Trying to remember if I did it, so if I didn't, then I guess I should. Um, I will say though, the pool here. Uh, let's just say it, it traps all the heating of the humidity of the day. So then um, past, let's say, 11 a.m. or 12 p.m., it feels like very hot. Like a, its own jacuzzi. They also require no slippers here on the deck. So then, imagine middle of the day, it, it basically feels like the seventh circle of Hades. Mm. I say that a lot. Very decent sized pool, how long it is, 
and then there's a very shallow portion there. Our room is over here, so practically you can just jump out of the window and then um, dip in the pool. Uh, and of course, this is really what you're getting, being at the doorstep of Saud Beach, Barakai of the North, and I have traveled in Leisure's 25 best beaches for 2021. And of course, this gets nicely lit at night here. Interspersed daylight and tungsten bulbs. Hey, I learned something from a past life. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we never got to play beach volleyball. And I don't think I have time to go snorkeling, you know, and make out the checkout time here. You know, the standard, but, you know, one last look at the beach, I think, is always in order. Um, the sand here is quite deep. It, there are parts here where you feel like your ankles kind of get uh, stuck in there for a bit. For extra suction. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can't complain with this view. Waking up to this is the highlight of my day, even though I don't like mornings. Truth be told, it is a great motivation to wake up early and enjoy the beach while it's not so warm. And there's the Caterpillar Earth Mover equipment. Um, I guess I'm a little bummed that I didn't get to go walk to that side. Uh, I think if you look at Google Maps, there's a pond or whatever. I don't know if I've said that already. I'm sorry. I, I just gonna just being a completist, I just will mention it again. So <laughs> that's probably one of the best secrets as to why Saud Beach made the list. Out of all the beaches in the Philippines, it's all because of this manicuring process, for lack of a better term, with earth moving equipment. Oh. There's nothing better I could say. Hmm. That is gorgeous down you know, here. You can see in the background all the mountains that hang right close to the beach, right close to the shoreline. Beautiful. And hmm. And then part of this coastline, like we went to the Maka. Oh goodness. Maka Gutugo it rocks. Hey, 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 I still got it. Um, kind of reminds me. They say it's the Palawan of the North, the little Palawan. It kind of feels like to me a cross between that and say the Isle of Capri in Italy, kind of like that, or the Amalfi Coast, the limestone cliffs, and then it, and then a bit of hey, back home, Big Sur, California. Kind of those three things put together. Three of my most favorite places in the world, as it turns out to be. All merged into one. So you locals Norte? Mm. When they say it's a tourist destination, sometimes uh, I don't know if it's the inferiority complex or what, or me being saying, ah, it's a podunk province. But it's places like Pagudpud, you can say are world class. Or the province, you know. And it does of course feel extra pristine too. Not overly commercialized. And a lot of Filipinos say, well, say, well, you know, beaches here should not be so overly commercialized. And I agree with them. Um, but, you know, what's what makes, I guess, variety makes the world go around, right? Sometimes you just want to feel like you want to be in Boracay with all the convenience and such. And then sometimes you want to be out here where it's a little more rustic. And our resort kind of looks like a glitzy kind of resort yet it's kind of still in process there's um they're still building out they're hashing out the rest of the second floor as it were all right let's go back to the room i'll show you how our seven person room looks like it's a little more spartan and glitz rather than glitzy so i'll show you all right, I truly meant to show you a quick video of our rooms, but I simply forgot, and to make it up to you, here are the couple of sunset clips I took from our time at Via Andrea. Next time, we're going for a boodle fight lunch at an upscale and unique resort on the Blue Lagoon side of Pagudput. 
You won't want to miss that video, and so please subscribe for more of our Pugwood Put adventures to come, as well as the usual food and travel reviews. As always, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, as that helps a lot, and sharing is caring. Until next time, keep cool but care, and remember, the empire never ended.